Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to our urban homestead. Trying to get over this cold. Just wants to hang on, not let go. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I obviously don't feel like making a big elaborate dinner. So we are gonna make one of my favorite sandwiches. It's like a antipasto sandwich. I got this big, this big old ham, uh, like the kind that you get at a deli for a great price. And as you all know, food is getting very expensive now. Um, so I got that, it was on sale, good deal. I'm gonna slice up some for sandwiches. And then I also want to can some navy bean soup. And that'll be great to chunk up. So I uh, thought I would take this opportunity to also share the slicer that the folks at Weber sent me. Um, I have not used it yet, so let's give it a try. So it comes with two slicing blades. One that is like a saw blade. So this would be perfect for like um, bone-in steaks or anything like that. And then this slicing blade, which is gonna be perfect for slicing up your deli meats or cheeses. It comes with a tray. This is the handle that goes on. Seems to slide really well. Let's go ahead and get this blade on. See how easy this is. Well, that was simple enough, right? It also has an adjustable you can adjust the thickness that you want it. So that's really nice. I am um, excited to use this. I've tried a few other slicers and they just do not work well. So let's turn this puppy on and give it a go. All right, the meat is loaded. Let's turn it on. Not too loud. So I'm gonna first try some really thin slices. So that's, I, I like my sandwich meat thin sliced. So let's give it a try. It might be a little too thin. Oh, now that's a little too thick. It's all user error, guys. You gotta get used to it. That, but it slices really beautifully so far. All right. too shabby guys liking it so far okay so the ham is done I think it worked really well I'm gonna get on to the salami guys look at look at what Melissa and Tara sent me. <laughs> Isn't that great? So now I'll always have like a towel because you guys know I'm a hot mess. I love it. So thank you so much, Melissa and Tara. Y'all are the best.
Now the real question is gonna be how easily does this clean up, right? So let's let's see, shall we? <coughs> so that pops off easily. Blade comes out nice and easily. This is just some, a warm, soapy rag. So far, it seems pretty easy to clean. No, like, real crazy nooks or crannies that you can't get to, which is nice. Yeah, look at that. Look, guys. Baby, move. You know, there's food, so the dogs are going to be in the kitchen. <laughs> Voila, guys, that cleaned up really nice. No nooks or crannies that you can't get to. Worked pretty good. If you guys are interested in checking out this slicer, it's very affordable. I think it works good. That was my first time using it, and I think for my first time, it seriously works a lot better than some of the other slicers that I've used. And... Uh, if you guys want to check it out, there will be a link in the description and a code. You can use my code to get 5% off. They have a lot of really, really cool stuff. So that code you could use for anything on the website. Um, the slicer is super affordable. And thanks, Weber, for sending it to me. All right, now let's go make the sandwich. I'm going to do these on some hoagie rolls. Look at that. Two dollars, you know your girl loves a deal. So these will go in the freezer once I'm done. So you guys also know my love of tomatoes and I'm petty. Because I do not buy tomatoes. I'm like, we don't buy tomatoes. If I don't grow them, we don't eat them. So there will no, be no tomatoes on this sandwich. Do not come for me. What does uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge say? Store-bought tomatoes taste like disappointment. She is absolutely right. We're going to use some of my marinated mushrooms. I will link the video to these in the description. They are awesome. Let's put some meat on first, shall we? Sometimes I do like turkey also on this, but today we're just going to do ham and some salami. Look at that, guys. It's all, that's better than a dang deli right there. Some provolone. All these finest provolone. Now 
marinated mushrooms. Mmm, 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 you guys. I can't even. These things are really addicting. It's going to be hard not to eat this whole jar and actually get some on the sandwich. Maybe I should have put the mushrooms down first instead of the meat. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Sometimes they'll put like roasted red peppers on this also, but there is red peppers in the mushroom marinade, so not gonna need that. Oh, you guys, the smell of that is killing me. Seriously. Some banana pepper rings. The ones that I canned are all gone, sadly. Another garden season awaits. And you know, I was gonna put some of this three cheese vinaigrette on there, but I think I'm just gonna spoon some of this marinade from the mushrooms on top of it. Honey, are you awake? You want to come try the, do the taste test? Now that is a sandwich, you guys. All right, we'll have April come on in and we'll give it the old taste test. <laughs> All right, let's let him see the sandwich. No, I didn't want to take a bite. Okay, here. That's a sandwich. That's a sandwich, guys. Look at that sucker. Okay. Mmm. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 mm -hmm. nom, nom, nom. You like those mushrooms on it? Oh God. <laughs> so here are my final thoughts um, on the slicer. It slices beautifully. If I could change one thing on it is the part where like the clear plastic part that holds the meat. I wish it had like some kind of like little prong so the meat doesn't like slide around. Um, other, other than that, I mean, it's a great product. It slices wonderfully. If I had a cutting glove, I would probably not even use that thing and just hold it with my hand, but I don't, and I'm too much of a chicken to try to do that. So, um, you know, I'm clumsy and a hot mess and I would probably cut all of my fingers off. So, um, yeah, other than that, I, I love it. It works great. Slices beautifully. And um, again, there will be a link and a code in the description. Go over and check it out. I believe they're actually on sale right now. Um, and then use my code and you get an extra 5% off. So you can't beat that. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining me. April's still mowing down on the sandwich. What? <laughs> and um, until next time, guys, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye. Thanks again, Melissa and Tara.